getting to know a keyboard probably sounds kind of funny, perhaps a bit strange. But when it comes to learning touch typing, I assure you, it is neither. In fact, getting to know your keyboard is probably the single most important thing you can do. If you recall, the first time I spoke to you, I said that touch typing is the ability to type the correct letters in the correct order using the correct symbols, numbers, and or punctuation without the need to actually look at the keyboard in order to locate the desired keys. The way you do this is by memorizing the layout of your keyboard. Depending on where you live and whether you use a desktop computer or a laptop, you may find variations in keyboard layout. In a few minutes, I'll talk about the different types of keyboards you are most likely to encounter. Right now, I'll provide an overview of a typical computer keyboard layout. If you are ready to learn, then I am ready to teach. So let's get started. Getting to know your keyboard isn't nearly as difficult as getting to know your neighbors or a blind date. That's because most computer keyboards you encounter will consist of the letters of the alphabet, the digits zero through nine, commonly used punctuation marks like a period, comma, colon, semicolon, question mark, and exclamation point, symbols including the number sign, dollar sign, ampersand, asterisk, and more, a separate numeric keypad, function keys F1 through F12, keys that perform other important functions, such as turning the capital and number lock features on and off, moving the cursor around a page or document, editing text, and more. You'll also notice that each individual key is shaped like a square and is just big enough to fit a fingertip. All of the various keys are arranged in rows as well. The letters of the alphabet typically take up a total of three rows on a standard computer keyboard. The row in the center of these three rows is referred to as the home row, and it is where the home row keys are located. The home row keys consist of letters and several important punctuation marks. As you learn more about touch typing, you will start to understand the need to familiarize your fingers with these home row keys. The rows immediately above and immediately below the home row also consist of letters, along with other punctuation marks, the tab key, the cap lock key, the enter key, formerly the return key on a typewriter, the shift key, and other symbols that are used primarily for programming. Directly above the top row of the letter keys sits a row of keys that display the digits one through zero from left to right. You'll notice that each of these keys also displays a symbol above each of the digits. For example, the four is the dollar sign. The left and right parentheses are displayed above the digits nine and zero respectively. You'll also notice a few other keys on this row that display only symbols, but no digits. Over to the far right is the frequently used backspace key. The top row on the keyboard is where you will find the function keys. Each function key displays the letter F together with the number ranging from one through 12. The purpose of these function keys is obviously to perform various functions. The function or functions that each key performs depends on the software that is currently being used. The instruction manual for the particular program or software will define the functionality of each function key. Since these function keys have no relevance to touch typing, you don't need to be concerned with them right now. The bottom row on a standard computer keyboard contains the all important space bar, the most frequently used key. Rather than being shaped like a square, as the other keys are, the space bar is a long and horizontal in shape. This key is shaped differently to make it easier for the thumb on either hand to access it. On most computer keyboards, the space bar is also wider than the other keys. The space bar may or may not be labeled. If you're not in the habit of pressing the space bar with one or both of your thumbs, then you are not a touch typist, but you will be once you start using ultimate typing to learn proper finger placement so you can develop your touch typing skills. You will also notice other keys located on each of the other rows of the keyboard and each has one or more specific purposes. However, 
like the function keys, most of these other keys are utilized by specific software or programs, or are used in navigating around the screen rather than typing, and are not relevant to touch typing. But since our purpose right now is getting to know the typing keyboard, you need to know that the Alt, Control, and Shift keys exist. Something that also exists on most standard computer keyboards is a numeric keypad. The numeric keypad is usually positioned to the right of the rows of letters. The keys on the numeric keypad display the digits 0 through 9, along with other keys including the number lock or num lock key, mathematical symbols, and the enter key. If the presence of a numeric keypad seems redundant, it is. All of these digits and symbols are found elsewhere on a computer keyboard. However, the numeric keypad appeals to many people, especially accountants who are used to working on adding machines and individuals who spend a lot of time working on calculators, 10 key machines, or cash registers. The numeric keypad is also often preferred by those who spend their days entering long number sequences into spreadsheets. The keypad frequently corresponds to movement commands used in many computer games. Laptop computers do not typically have enough space to include a numeric keyboard, but if you need it, a standalone numeric keypad can usually be purchased separately and plugged in. Situated in between the rows of keys and the numeric keypad are the miscellaneous but very important keys that facilitate movement around a page and page editing. These keys include insert, delete, home, end, page up, page down, and the four arrow keys that point in four different directions. Well, that covers just about everything you'll find on a standard computer keyboard.